Hi everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Ask Dr. Barb. I'm Dr. Barb Lenahan, a veterinarian, and I'm here to answer your questions about all things animals. Today's topic, snakes. Let's dive in, or should I say slither? Kula, hit it! Like our first question is coming from Becca in California. Hi, Dr. Barb. I have a question for you. Why do snakes shed their skins, and how do they? That is a great question. All animals shed their skin, but some do it more gradually than others. Humans and dogs, for example, shed many skin cells every single day. Instead of this gradual skin shedding, snakes shed a whole layer of skin in one continuous piece several times a year. This process is called ectasis. As snakes grow, their skin does not, so they generate a roomier layer of skin underneath and discard the old outer layer. This also helps them to get rid of parasites on the old skin. When it's time to shed the old layer, the snake will tear open the outer layer by rubbing its face on something hard, creating a hole, and then slithering out gradually out of that old skin. Then, voila! They come out with their new bright layer of skin that had grown underneath. This process can take days to even weeks, depending on the species of snake. And the old skin is usually left in one big piece. This process will happen more frequently while the snakes are young and growing, and less often in adults, just like kids needing new clothes when they grow out of their old ones, as they grow big and strong. Thanks for the great question, Becca. Let's take another one. This question comes from Wade. Hi, Dr. Barb. How does snake venom work? Thanks for the wonderful question, Wade. There are different types of venom, containing different types of poisonous chemicals. In venomous snakes, the venom is delivered by large fangs when they bite their prey. Each venomous animal has its own unique mix of poisonous chemicals in their venom. Some work by paralyzing the prey, which makes them stop breathing, and others kill the prey by making the tissues in the body actually break down. Either way, the goal is to kill the prey so that then they can eat it whole. Gulp. All right, let's take another question. Looks like we have another one from Becca. Do all snakes have venom? Great question. No, not all snakes have venom. Some snakes lack venom and instead utilize constriction as a method to kill their prey or food items like pythons, boa constrictors, and anacondas. Fun fact, snakes have flexible jaws, which allow them to eat prey bigger than their head. Also, did you know that some other animals have venom too? Like stingrays, scorpions, wasps, some salamanders, even some caterpillars. With all these great snake questions, I think I know someone you should meet. Let's go. World, meet coconut. Coconut here is a leucistic Texas rat snake. He's only six months old, but these guys can live to be 10 to 15 years when they're well taken care of and can grow up to five feet long. Whoa. In the wild, they eat anything from small mammals, birds, little rodents, frogs, lizards, anything they can get a hold of, but they're also known to be really good climbers and they'll slither up trees to eat birds' nests. And they can also climb walls. Rat snakes are constrictors, so they don't have any venom. With constriction, they strike their prey and then they wrap it around. And so they disrupt the blood flow and eventually the animal dies and they eat it whole. Most species of snakes that use constriction are non-venomous, but there are a few species that actually use both. 
Now coconut here is this white color and that's because he has a condition called leucism, which is where there's a partial loss of pigmentation resulting in a pale color or white, but they don't lose the color in their eyes. You can see his beautiful blue eyes here. What do you think? Let's get another question from Wade. Are snakes nocturnal? Great question. Sometimes snakes can be both nocturnal and diurnal, meaning they can be more active either at night or during the day. And really it depends on the temperature where they are and the prey availability. So some are more active at night and some during the day, but it can vary with the time of year and the temperature. Coconut here likes to do most of his activity at night. Check it out. So this is a shed from Coconut the Snake. So as you can see, it's all in one big piece and it looks just like the outline of his body. If you look up close, you can even see where his eyes were and his little mouth. And so he slithered out through this over a couple of days and emerged in his new skin. How cool is that? Let's leave you with another fun snake fact. Have you ever wondered why snakes stick out their tongues? Snakes actually smell with their tongue. Well, thanks to Wade and Becca for their wonderful snake questions today. And of course, to our special guest, Coconut the Snake. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you next time on Ask Dr. Barb. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel and click that bell to be notified when new videos drop. And if you want your questions to be featured, please send them in to the email address in my about section. Till next time, keep up that curiosity and love of animals and don't forget to do your part in taking care of our planet. Bye-bye.